Good evening Philippines, Mike Padilla here, returning to our tropical weather analysis for this Monday through Wednesday, December 7 to 9, 2020, and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Before we begin with our update, I would like to thank you to all my uh, followers and subscribers uh, at, of my, uh, at my YouTube channel, as well as Facebook.com's Mr. Typhoon page. For greeting me uh, a happy birthday and uh, my birthday wish is uh, I hope all the uh, typhoons entering the Philippine area of responsibility will, will all recur without any making landfall over parts of the Philippine Islands so that's my wish again thank you for for the greetings I appreciate it much so let's uh, begin and before we proceed with our graph set, again, here's a breaking news around 10.37, uh, almost an hour ago, we experienced a magnitude 6.4. This is coming from the field box, and as you can see, it's located just offshore of Sorsogon, and province of Sorsogon, east of Veato Diaz around 38 kilometers but the good thing of this uh, quake is the uh, depth of focus is sub is somewhat deeper so it's n I hope there's no uh, damage uh, that occurred in the southern part of the Bicol region particularly over Sursagon and Albay provinces as well as Catanduanes and northern Samar so let's hope and pray that all are safe if you experience earthquake, just uh, duck and cover so that you'll be safe. Okay. And uh, here in Naga, we uh, experienced some, um, I think it's around 2, intensity 2 to 3, based on the shaking of the chandelier and uh, the water uh, over at my glass. Okay. Uh, it's just... Uh, a uh, weak to moderate quake but it's quite scary okay so uh, let's uh, there's still no reported intensity so this is a developing story so watch out for more updates from the fieldvox website at fieldvox uh, earthquake that fieldvox that ph for the latest on this latest quick so let's put it we'll sit down on the weather situation across the Philippine Islands let's begin with our graph shot this is for today Monday until tomorrow Tuesday the northeast monsoon remains stationary over the extreme northern parts including Ilocos region Batanes group of islands uh, Panatag Shoal and the uh, Klayan Island group so expect some windy conditions of up to 65 kph and some passing showers uh, and uh, possible thunderstorms across these areas but so far it's generally cloudy and windy over the mentioned areas while over here across the rest of Luzon including uh, Bicol region Mimaropa we are under in the influence of the surface slough being some showers and thunderstorms across these areas connected with a shallow low pressure area to the west of Borneo and we have a uh, strengthening easterly surface wind flow or easterly uh, winds uh, from the Pacific this is brought about by the uh, uh, presence of the moderate La Nina which is uh, forecast to become uh, a stronger one for a short while probably this uh, December to uh, January and it's uh, now bringing some visa conditions with some rains as well across the eastern sections of the Visayas and the eastern coastal areas of the Bicol region so uh, just take all our sub precautions against possible flash floods and landslides whenever we have a very strong thunderstorm passing over your area uh, outside of par we don't have any uh, tropical cyclone development so it's all clear for the next three days as well as into the next five days based on the uh, uh, computer models although the american model uh, there is a low pressure area moving towards the Samar and Bicol provinces for the next few days, but it's not 
uh, yeah, sure, because the ECMWF doesn't show that that kind of system. Now here's the fast animation. There you go, this surface trough, and there could be a uh, developing uh, uh, shallow LPA to the west of Mindoro, and uh, we have here a uh, cloudiness with rains and thunderstorms generated by the prevailing strong easterlies brought about by the La Nina climate. And as we look at our uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com, you can see here some developing uh, thunderstorm, large cluster of thunderstorms to the west of Mindoro and northwest of Palawan, while we could see some some clusters of small to medium thunderstorms affecting uh, various parts of the country. We have here one over Camarines Norte and uh, over at uh, uh, Naga area, Camarines Sur, as well as over Kata, uh, over uh, Albay and so so gone. Well, Mindanao is all clear for the evening except for a passing uh, thunderstorm over the central portions of that island. And as we look at our wind, rain, and pressure forecast from windy.com, let's begin on Tuesday morning. We could see some sunny conditions, or partly cloudy across uh, most parts of the country, except for the uh, Cordillera autonom Autonomous Region. There could be some showers and thunderstorms what about by the uh, easterlies okay we're now shifting into easterlies as you can see here by today choose uh, by tomorrow tuesday i mean and on tuesday afternoon some thunderstorms across visayas palawan and Bindanao. and on wednesday morning uh, we could see another uh, good weather sunny skies in the morning but in the afternoon some showers and thunderstorms will be expected in some areas of uh, Aurora and Isabela and also over the uh, island of Mindanao as well as some portions of Visayas, Mimaropa and Bicol region. These are only showers when it, uh, during the afternoon of Wednesday. So far for the next uh, uh, five days uh, it's all clear. There's still no uh, low pressure area that will develop for the next uh, few days. But the American model, there is one on Wednesday, but this is not yet sure because the uh, ECMWF doesn't uh, show uh, just some cloudiness, but the uh, American model shows a low pressure area moving into the big, big region again on Thursday. Uh, beginning on Wednesday so there could be another round of rainfall across our region because of the prevailing uh, La Nina when there's a strong moderate to strong La Nina we could expect some rainfall almost every day across the various portions of the Philippine Islands okay so there you go that's the latest for this uh, Monday to Wednesday uh, December 7 to 9 from Weather Philippines from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike part of our reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag WeatherWiser, hashtag TyphoonWiser, and thank you for watching our channel.